It is nice and early in the morning. Just before sunrise, as you can see over there, we're starting to get a little bit of color. And we're trying to make it back to where we saw sunset yesterday to see if we can catch sunrise today. We just have to hurry. I think it's coming up fast. Yeah, it is coming up fast. We've made it to the biggest hurdle on this hike. So we gotta climb up on top of this rock and then climb up there. Really hard to do with stuff, so I'm gonna have to set the camera down up there. We made it! Walk really fast. And I think we took a couple of steep, steeper steps. I definitely pushed her hard. And now we made, it. we made it and we have this beautiful sunrise. Calibrating the trunk. <laughs> than just this rock that we've been climbing the past two days. So we're gonna go check out some more stuff, but first it's time to head back to our campsite to get a little bit of coffee. <laughs> I forgot to do this earlier in the sunrise for Victoria, but... are dangerous and I'm not allowed to play with them. So we have arrived at our first little hike of, well, technically Official it's our second. Official hike. Yeah, officially <laughs> marked hike. It's called Bushman's Paradise. There is a, let's see if I can zoom in on it. Yeah, there's a chain to follow up. We're gonna be going with a guide because it's the only safe way to do it according to reception. And they're gonna take us up there and tell us a little bit. There's some um, old Bushman paintings up there that we're gonna be taking a look at and they're gonna tell us a bit about them. So we're pretty excited. It should be a, a nice hike. They say that the person that eats the ostrich is going to get right like... Right down here. Yeah. yeah. There was the... Is it the same in this area? No. Black no. vinyl. No. Oh, that's so the same. amazing. Okay. I mean, it's really cool because these are like thousands of years old. And then over here, there's some of the... I'm drawing of some of the Bushmen. It's a little bit faded, again, because of the water, but... No, no, it's super cool. And what's going yeah, there's some there, and I think this one here is a giraffe. Yeah, this if you one can kind of right see right it, so yeah, the red part. So the tour was amazing. It's great that they protect that area now. And the tour guides are so knowledgeable, it's it's better than if it was just free to walk up on your own because you learn so much about the history of them and all of that. Uh, but now it's time for us to get back on the road as we start making our way over into the to 
Wincook, we're back and we're staying at Urban Camp for the night. Uh, we're gonna go check in. They have our restaurant and there's also and like a sort of like brewery. They have different taps. So we're excited to try that and then we'll give you a little tour of the room. fantastic it was probably the best meal I had since yesterday <laughs> because yesterday I didn't like the lunch but right now this is where we're gonna be staying it's a tent so this is like glamping yeah because it's a tent I mean it is warm there's no AC but like you it's have a real a bed fan, you have mosquito nets you have like a real bed outdoors and I mean, this is beautiful. Reorganization part two is nearly complete. And oh, then space. There's, things. there's extra space. The only difference this time around was we now have an extra carry on backpack, but that's okay. But that's to change in Germany though. Like we're gonna have a one day in Germany and then heading home. So yeah, I think from here we're gonna shower and relax for the evening and show you a little bit more of urban camp in the morning before we head to the airport yes. so we'll see you guys in the morning which isn't going to be like one two three and it's morning so let's go get breakfast we had a great sleep this is i think one of the better beds we've had the entire trip yes, for sure. so now victoria is excited for food so we're gonna go get some so we just realized we have to return the car sooner than we thought and get to the airport because apparently math has escaped us but <laughs> it is worth noting at this point that I mean we really love it here this might be one of the best like places to hostel. stay yeah I'm not, I don't know that hostel is the right word but I guess I would categorize it with other hostels that we've stayed at and that you know it is in the middle of the city but if you just look around here it is just an absolute little slice of paradise in the middle of an urban center. It's amazing. Time to park the car. We're heading to return our car rental. Sad moment. Bags are too heavy. Now we don't know why they are so heavy. <laughs> When we took stuff out too, like... If you want to see more of our Namibian adventures, please check out this playlist right up here. And if you want to see more of our adventures in general, be sure to hit subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. Thank you so much. It really helps out the channel. And we'll see you all in our next cake. Bye, everyone.